everyone. How are you all doing? It's been a couple of weeks since we connected. I trust you're taking time for yourselves to rejuvenate, refresh, renew, eating well, staying hydrated, just having some fun and finding some time to, to, uh, time to laugh together too. This week I want to talk about the power of words and how we um, can literally talk ourselves into contentment and joy and a genuine happiness. Last time we talked about forgiveness or unforgiveness and having it's a choice, not a feeling. Both forgiveness is a choice and unforgiveness is a choice. And you know, the longer we live, it's only a matter of time until someone offends us. And it's how we handle that and what we do with it that impacts our lives. We can either have a joyful, contented life or be bitter and resentful and vindictive and mean uh, throughout life. And it doesn't matter who we are, everyone has a story of someone who wronged us. All oh, the events and circumstances may look different, but the pain of the betrayal feels the same. The disappointment, the anger of the injustice is a perfect recipe for a storm of a joyless life. And so today I wanted to encourage us and please know that every topic that I choose, I've reflected in my own life to make sure that I'm speaking out of a place of wholeness and wellness too. It's important that a, a leader uh, be working through the issues as well. And so today, I want us to take a look at the power of words and everything, not just what you speak uh, out, uh, but also about what you speak to yourself, over yourself, about your circumstances, about the offense, and how long you talk about the offense or the offender. If you've been talking about the offense and the offender for 10 years, then the situation will never remedy itself. Uh, you will never feel better by continuing to talk about uh, the situation negatively. Words have the power to create. They have the power to fuel a situation, ignite a, 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 an argument. They have the power to influence how we think, how we feel, how we see things, and how we act. It can even go as far as impacting our relationship with God. And yes, it, our words can even impact the relationship we have with others. And so today I want to challenge you. The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. And so imagine you want to create an environment and an atmosphere of death in your, in your life, or would you like to create an environment of life? I hope and pray you want to create an atmosphere life. So today I'm going to leave a resource at the end of this video. It may be a shorter video and a shorter talk today, but nonetheless powerful. What words do you speak over yourself when no one is listening or even inside your head? Or what words are you using to speak over your situation, the offense or the offender? I want to challenge you today. Sometimes to uh, shut things down we have to shut things up. And I know that may sound abrupt and kind of harsh. It's okay to talk about things and to get things out because I'm a big believer in talking things out. That's what counseling is, it's talk therapy. And so we must talk things out and then come up with some strategies and healthy tools to handle our situations. And as I said earlier, if we've been talking about that negative situation for decades, how will we be well? question I asked last time, what Jesus had asked, do you want to be well? Well, today I'm asking the same kind of question. Do you want your circumstances to be shut down? Then maybe consider not talking about those things the way we do. To change the words you're using about the offense, changing the environment. I will be leaving the resource at the end of this video take a look. It's called Talking Yourself Happy. It may sound frivolous and uh, the author is anything but frivolous. Um, she had a very traumatic event happen in her life and talks about it and gives strategies and tips on how to get through events uh, in a healthy, godly way. God bless you and keep you and give you peace until we meet again.